How's it going, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be using No Time to Explain. Probably the best outside of LC's rifle, the best 340 pulse rifle in the game. So, No Time to Explain, landing precision shots up to 10, charges a soul that will fire at targets that are on your screen when you're aiming. And then precision hits will always refund that ammo so you can effectively shoot this gun indefinitely if you always hit headshots. Also, shooting targets that are affected by slow or freeze will also return ammo to the magazine. And then also alongside all of this, precision hits extend the little portal's duration. Always nice, and it has feeding frenzy on top of that, which is always great. Pairing it with One-Eyed Mask to give us a little bit of overshield and just a sudden jump in health to help fight off a lot of what we're currently fighting in the meta. Swarm grenades, smoke bombs, etc. Something that will help alleviate it a little bit. Pairing with Prism Titan once again. Transcendence on kinetic kills. Solitude. No Time has a low enough magazine that you will consistently proc it on the first Guardian you kill which allows you to make for some very, very nasty plays. Hope for when you pick up an orb, you get Amplified. Amplified gives you more of your barricade back. Jolt on grenade damage. And you get ampli Amplified from purpose. Here are the mods. Very simple. Just don't overthink it with this, and you'll have no issues. Stat split's not great, but... This is a just kind of thrown together, messing with it. And then for those interested in fashion, there you are. I try to have some unique fashion every time. So general gameplay loop is, goes as follows. Enter the gunfight with either no time to explain, to proc solitude, to proc sever, or your opener will be the dis disruption break explosive personality to then deal more damage with no time. However you start it, you'll use that to take the momentum forward. And then you'll use this to get your soul charged. You will start shooting at targets. If they shoot at you, they are now highlighted. You get an overshield. You also, depending on how many you kill, get amplified because of the orb. You also get a quicker TTK because of the soul. And you have the tangle, which you can shoot or throw. Use your melee if you get within close proximity, and summon a diamond lance. Diamond lance allows you to use amplify or the knockout punch, and get at least two more kills. I've done it a few times. I believe you see that loop in the gameplay. But yeah, general loop is very simple. Just don't overthink it. Now, dim link is down below. Discord link is there as well. And let me know if there is anything you would change about this loadout. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Alright, burnout. No time to explain, one-eyed mask, and a disruption break grenade launcher. Let's run them to the ground. That's fine. I can get away from here. Glad my teammates could get that because they were focusing me instead of my teammates. Try and take that out if we can. Watch this midsection. Depending on what they do and where they come from, we might be able to take a few out here. There we go. We'll get up on this for a second. Not gonna be able to take much advantage of it, but my teammates, who you can hear in their cacophony of hand cannon bolts there, can do great things with that. Nope, not gonna go outside. Not winning that. 
since he was already inside and behind me, and I didn't have... I don't have the range to deal with that. I'm more mid-long range, he was mid-close. Alright, he's out. That's fine. Four shots. One more? Nope. Maybe. We do get one more. Alright, and we get overshield from it too. He's gonna get out, that's fine. Actually, he didn't. My teammate grabbed him by the time he got out. Keep an eye on where they're at. Keep on ADSing. Had a feeling. Just didn't pan out fast enough for me to be able to do anything about it. Gotta sit and wait. He's gonna throw a grenade on me, most likely. He didn't throw a grenade on me. I'm shocked. Careful, teammate. I'm not pushing that outside. I'm gonna stay on the inside. Because from the inside I can watch all of the same spaces. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go outside now. Woo! Hmm. Unfortunate. That's fine. Burnout. Not like one can hold a, a power play on this map for very long. Well, I'm dead again because it did not bounce far enough. Once again, it's a demonstration of me not having a good enough understanding of my toolkit to be able to make it play as well as I could. That and just poor spawning. But that's not a, that's something I can't control. So we just take and we run with it. Five minutes left. A Sentinel Shield teammate. Dead men's. Yeah, but our Thunder Crash Type 2 was able to take him out. That's fine. No. My mouse. Oh, no. Perfect. Turn back to the left. He's on the far side of the map. I'm gonna go through the middle. Put some damage down. They're gonna be enticed to chase.
Ouch. You guys gonna take that? Let's go. Excellent. Oh, I didn't get a throw a grenade. That's unfortunate. A few instances I could have played better, the one where I cast Transcendence, if I had ditched from that encounter, they would have chased after me and I could have cast it mid-jump across the bridge, thrown it, caught two or three, and maybe gotten the kills that way. But other than that, very solid, especially for Burnout. I will see you in the next.